This meter takes an incredible journey from raw material to finished goods. I think you'd be amazed to see this process. So come with me and let's take a look. It all starts here at the receiving dock of H. Kramer & Company on the south side of Chicago. They collect scrap brass from all over, copper, tin, zinc, and they melt it down to make this the most recognizable part of our water meter, the brass body. You can see what they've got here. They melt down old candlesticks, water meters, car radiators, even musical instruments, all to make this water meter. Wisconsin at the Fall River Foundry, where the brass ingot made by Kramer gets turned into a finished water meter casting. And it all starts in this 2,500 degree furnace. So Fall River mixes up our custom recipe for brass. When the mixture is just right, it's time to transfer the molten brass to another furnace so it can be poured into molds made of tightly packed silica sand. The molds have a top, a bottom, and a spacer that represents the hollow core of the meter. The molten brass will flow into the hollow cavity and around the spacer forming our meter. After they've cooled, those molds go through a machine that breaks up the silica sand and reveals a very rough casting of our brass body. After a little bit of cleanup, they're ready for the next step. 